We're looking at blogging in Jekyll, which is one of Jekyll's main use cases. And to begin with, let's create some blog posts. So blog posts live in an underscore post directory. Each blog post is stored in its own file. Uh, so let's create a new file. And the name of this file is a wee bit special in Jekyll. So at the beginning of the file, we have a full date. And the format is year, month, day. So this date is the date that the blog post was published or will be published. And we can print out this date on our site, which I'll show you later. This date is also useful because when you're looking at your blog posts in a file browser, they're all going to be listed chronologically. Next, we have a title for the blog post. And this helps us identify the blog post when we're looking through the file names. And we can use this title on our site when we're printing out all the blog posts. And then finally, we have an extension. So by default, blog posts are written in one of two languages, either Markdown or HTML. Markdown's probably the most common, um, and that's what I've chosen today. So it's a .md extension. So now we need to add some content to our file. We'll start with uh, some empty front matter. And we need this empty front matter to tell Jekyll that this isn't just a static file and it needs some processing done on it. Then I'm going to paste in my markdown content. I'll go into what markdown is and how to use it in another video, but it's a really easy language to pick up. Okay, and now I'll repeat this for another blog post. Now we've got two blog posts on our site. Let's create a page which lists all the blog pages. So I'll add blog.html to the root of my site. Then add some basic front matter for the layout and title. And we'll start off really simply. So I'll have an unordered list and each blog post uh, will be in an ally. I'll link to that blog post and then just print out the title here. So Jekyll gives us access to all the blog posts at site.posts. Uh, so this is an array which we can iterate over. So I'll create a for loop and say for post in site posts. And I'll end that for loop after the ally. So Jekyll has generated a page for each blog post, uh, which we can link to, and that's available at post.url. Then we'll get the title of each blog post, uh, which is this word part of the file name. We can access that at post.title. And let's have a look at this page. We have a list of our blog posts here, and if we click on one, it takes us to the generated page which you can see is not formatted particularly well at the moment. So we need to fix the formatting of our blog posts. And we'll do this with the layout. So I'll create a new layout called posts.html. And I'm going to inherit from one of my other layouts. And here I'm going to specify an H2 with a special class. This is just for this particular site. So it has um, decent spacing at the top of the page. And I can access the post metadata by going to page dot and then the variable name. So we want to get the title out here. Uh, then I'll create a paragraph and access the date. And then I'll output the content of the post. And Jekyll's automatically going to convert the markdown content into HTML. So now I'll use that layout in my two posts. And now let's have a look at that page. So this is my chocolate chip cookie post and it's looking a lot better. The formatting on this date is a little bit weird. So let's put it through a date filter. Um, so I'll just paste in a date filter here. So this is just going to format it. So it shows the month, day and year. 
and we'll go through all these date filters in another video. And you can see the date is formatted nicely and now we have a working blog on Jekyll. This tutorial was brought to you by Cloud Cannon, the cloud content management system for Jekyll. For more free tutorials like this one, check out learn.cloudcannon.com.